Hello, everybody, and welcome to a breaking news episode of the Tip of the Iceberg, your home for Pittsburgh Penguins news and analysis. You can find us on YouTube at Tip of the Iceberg or anywhere you get your podcast from. Well, we've all been awaiting what the next chapter in the Tristan Jari saga was going to be. And earlier today, we found out exactly what that next chapter is going to be. The Penguins have assigned goaltender Tristan Jari to the American Hockey League Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Penguins on a conditioning assignment, something that is typically reserved for players that are coming back from injuries, that you want them to get their legs underneath them without trying to make them do that in an NHL game. We saw it happen a week ago with Alex Nedeljkovic. We saw it happen last year on multiple occasions with multiple different players. But Tristan Jari isn't injured. Tristan Jari has just struggled to start the season, and the Penguins elect to go this route. It's a very interesting route that we'll talk a little bit more about the, the finer details in a couple of seconds, but a quick shout out goes to Taylor Haas of DK Pittsburgh Sports. She wrote in her Friday Insider column that this is an option for the Penguins and an option that she wouldn't have been surprised to see them take. And here we are 24 hours later, and the Penguins announced that they are sending Tristan Jari to the American Hockey League to try to get him to round into form. Now, things started to get a little crazy earlier in this road trip once the Penguins lost in a shootout to the Calgary Flames, another game in which Tristan Jari spent in the press box as a healthy scratch, even though Mike Sullivan doesn't want to call it that. He was a healthy scratch over the last couple of games. Blonkfist in, in as backup, Nedeljkovic in as the starting goaltender, and Tristan Jari as the healthy scratch. So they took three on the road trip, three goaltenders, that is. Jari was the healthy scratch for the first two games, and all of a sudden, news comes out that Tristan Jari has left the team and returned home to Pittsburgh to work with director of goaltending John Elkin for a little bit of one-on-one -on -one practice time to try to get him to round back into form. Mike Sullivan mentioned it to the media. This was all part of the plan. They wanted to bring him to the road trip and then send him home early to get him kind of reacclimated to the game, it seems like, because he just has not been anywhere close to NHL quality to this point in the season. So as far as that AHL conditioning stint, is considered. They're hoping that a couple weeks down there, maybe just a couple games down there, will get him back to that all-star form that really they were paying him to be, but he hasn't been since he signed that contract in the summer of 2023. He doesn't have to go through waivers, so that's a plus. He still counts towards the NHL salary cap, and he's still getting paid as if he is at the NHL level. And the big thing here is he had to agree to this decision. This isn't something that the Penguins could have just said, listen, you're doing this whether you like it or not. And, and he said, well, I don't want to do it. He could have nixed it. So this is something where Tristan Jari has kind of accepted the fact that he needs to do something drastic to get back on top. And the Penguins, they couldn't afford to just do what they had been doing. They needed to do something out of the box. They needed to do something unique, which this is, to get him to figure it out. Because... If you look at what he was doing this year, like I mentioned earlier, far below the standards of an NHL goaltender, let alone a starting NHL goaltender. Tristan Jari this year, three games played, one and one record, a 5.47 goals against average, an 836 save percentage. And if you date back to last season, he has been pulled in four of his last 10 starts. So there's something broken there. They needed to get it fixed. They tried to you know, give him some starts at the beginning of the season. He started the first game of the year against the Rangers. Part of that might've been because Alex Nedeljkovic was on the shelf, but then he gets another opportunity against, I believe it was the Montreal Canadiens. The Penguins get the win. He looked better in the second half of that and then gets back-to-back -back starts and gets taken out after giving up three goals on five shots to the Buffalo Sabres. We haven't seen him dressed for a game since that very moment. So, you look at what the Penguins had been doing. He had been the number three goaltender. He had been the healthy scratch. But you couldn't let him wither away in the press box for the next four years. Remember, he has three more years after the season left on that contract at five plus million, which is also the reason that it's not like you could trade him. His trade stock is way below the floorboards right now. Nobody is going to touch Tristan Jari with that contract and this type of performance. So the Penguins... I mean, they might still be interested in getting rid of him, but at the end of the day, you can't do anything unless Tristan Jari elevates his game to at least a playable level, which it has not been for the past, well, I would say this whole season and 
the latter half of last season as well. Now, this conditioning assignment can last up to 14 days, so we'll have to wait and see how many games he gets at the AHL level, and I think part of that is going to be how does he respond? How does he perform at that level? Is he able to bounce back, or does he continue to struggle at the American League level? And if that's the case, boy, they're going to have to take even more drastic measures than what they're doing right now, but a crazy situation that if you would have asked me a year and a half ago, this is where we would be. I would say, why are you signing him to that contract? But you can ask anybody a year and a half ago, if we don't know what we know now, most people, myself included, thought, well, this was kind of the only option Kyle Dubas had. He is the best goaltender on the market. He's probably the only starting goaltender on the market. And nobody could have imagined him falling off to this degree. Was he perfect before they signed that contract? No. Were there problems? Yes. Namely, injuries were a big issue. Well, he hasn't been injured the last year and a half. He has just regressed to a point of needing to be sent to the American Hockey League for a conditioning assignment. We talked about waivers earlier this week. Is that an option? Probably a last-ditch effort. Probably the last thing that the Pittsburgh Penguins want to do outside of probably trading him and retaining 50% of his salary for the next three years. But if you put him on waivers, you still have to eat $4 million of salary cap space at the NHL level. You get about a million dollars off and you get his roster spot off. But again, that is going to be something that is last ditch effort to try to figure out the goaltending position. Fortunately for the Penguins, Joel Blomqvist has stepped up, right? Last night, 46 saves on 50 shots. And what was an abysmal performance, the only player that had any redeeming qualities in that game was probably Joel Blomqvist and a couple of shifts here and there. But the Penguins need to figure out their starting goaltender. The Penguins need to figure out Tristan Jari because if he doesn't get his act together, they're going to be in a really tough situation for the next three years, not just the rest of this year, but the next three years following it. The Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins do play tonight against the Syracuse Crunch. I would expect Tristan Jari to start in that one. Wilkes-Barre lost last night in the first half of a back-to-back two to nothing to the same team. They're back on a home ice tonight, and then they don't play again until Wednesday. So I would fully expect to see Tristan Jari between the pipes tonight in Northeast Pennsylvania as the Penguins take on the Canucks in Western Canada. So it's a crazy situation. It's amazing to me that it's gotten to this point, but I mean, deservedly so. We talked about the performance. We talked about the numbers. You've seen it plainly with your eyes. I don't have to tell you how bad Tristan Jari is. I know everybody out there knows it, and this is the route they end up taking. I was surprised when he got sent home in the middle of a of a road trip, especially right before they were heading to his home province, kind of get some home cooking, maybe thinking that just the Vancouver air would have helped him out a little bit. The Edmonton air would have helped him out a little bit, but they instead sent him home, get him a little bit of one-on-one work and now send him down to the American hockey league. A crazy situation for the penguins continues to get crazier. Tristan Jari is in the AHL on a conditioning loan. That is the important part here. It's a conditioning loan. He didn't just get sent out outright. He would have had to go through waivers for that process to take place. He is down there on a conditioning loan, can be recalled at any moment because he's still counting towards the NHL roster. And we'll just have to wait and see how he responds. That's going to be a big storyline to watch over the next week is how does he perform tonight? And if he gets another opportunity, how does he perform on Wednesday for the wilkes Bear Grand Penguins? But that's going to do it for this breaking news episode of the tip of the iceberg. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this one. If you like this video, make sure you like it. Share with all your friends. Subscribe if you'd like as well, or you can find us anywhere you get your podcast from. We'll see you guys next time.